Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, we've been talking about God has given us all things that pertain to life and godliness. And, and, and I began to talk about the things that would hinder you from receiving your inheritance. And I said, number one killer is strife. It's amazing what strife can do to you. And yesterday I talked to you about Abraham and what Abraham did concerning strife. Now, Abraham was smart enough to, to tell Lot, you know what, let's not strive. And what did he do? He ended strife. You know, I'll show you something, Proverbs 17 and verse 14. Proverbs 17, 14 says, The beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. Did you see that? When, when strife begins, it's like when you own a tap. What happens when you own the tap? It begins to flow. It begins to flow. Now it begins to flow into every, you know, it doesn't just flow in one direction, except it's controlled. Now you just release water on the floor. It begins to anywhere it goes, you know, it begins to go and spread. Now he says, the beginning of strife is like releasing water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. Did you see that? So, the beginning of strife, you, you, you can see like Abraham, he saw the headsman striving and he looked at this, oh, like the water has been released, so it's pouring, it's pouring and then soon it will get to him and Lot. See, it would have gone to that point and say, hey, but your headsman did this to my headsman, but, but that's not what happened and then they begin to quarrel. Now, Abraham saw it coming and he said, no, 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 I know you devil <laughs> and he says, come here, Lot, let's not strive. Now, this is what we're going to do. What was Abraham? He stopped that thing right in its tracks. Praise God. He ended it. Now, to human thinking, it was like Abraham lost something. How, how, I'm thinking if, if you were to be Abraham's advisor then, how can you let your nephew choose before you? That is wrong. You didn't train this boy very well. How, how can... But Abraham knew exactly what he was dealing with. If Abraham had gone ahead to choose, he wouldn't have gotten God's inheritance. He would have gotten what the devil shared for him. That's what you gain from striving. Whatever you gain, materially or whatever, from strife was not given to you by God. It's the devil that gives it to you. And let me tell you the truth. You will end up losing it. Or it will, truck, it will work out a disadvantage for you. Just like Lot. By the time he chose that the area he chose, it looked wonderful. It looked green. It looked like the best. But what happened afterwards? It was still Abraham that was trying to negotiate for his life. Now, when when because Abraham refused to get into strife, even though he lost an inheritance, God shows up and said, Stand up now. And guess what the Bible says? God showed up immediately, Lord departed. Now that's to tell you something. When that argument was going on, when that decision was being taken, God was observing. And he was watching to see what Abraham would do. And when Abraham was done, he shows up and he compensated Abraham. That's what God always does. So when I say, even if you have to lose money just to stay out of strife, let it go. It's your heart. It's your heart. You know, I say let it go. Because God, I, I, when I say let it go, I'm telling you, this is exactly what God is going to say to you. God's going to tell you, let it go. Oh, he will. You know why God will say, let it go? He has the ability. It, just like, you know, you, you, you have millions and you're so blessed financially. And then you get into a situation and see a good friend of yours quarreling over 10,000 naira. Now, some of us have been in that situation. Maybe you're in someone's house and then um, um, some... Um, some whatever officials come and say, Oh, you're owing money. And the person goes, but, but you people didn't do your service. How much is that money they are talking about? 5,000. And then you hear them arguing and arguing. And then you come and say, What's the matter? Can you imagine these people? They say, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've not paid 5,000. Meanwhile, I'm not seeing the service that they are providing. What are you going to do as, as that big person? They know what? Pay them. Why are you saying pay them? Because it is nothing to you. You even find yourself say, just pay. But, but I don't have that kind of, hey, what is it, 5,000 Abi? Oh, yeah, I'll give you. Just, just pay them. Now, that's who God is to you. 
You see, he's that big one that is so loaded. Now, that's what he's telling us in, in Second Peter. I have, he has given to us all things that pertain to life and goodness. Now, if he has given, now Abraham, Ab oh, Abraham didn't know this thing like we know it today. I'm talking about this. Abraham didn't know the scripture that God has given to him all things that pertain to life. And, but through relationship, he learns to walk with God. And when he separated himself from Lot, or rather Lot separated himself from him, just to end strife, like he said here, what happened? God gave him everything. Now, I'll show you Proverbs 22 and verse 10. It says, casts out the scoffer and contention will leave. Yes, strife and reproach will cease. Now, in your in your in your environment your business your company um, wherever you find yourself that you are you have some good measure of control every time you see someone bringing strife someone bringing contention let me tell you the truth don't think twice about letting such a person go oh no no don't think twice about it as long as you have control over that situation and and this is your employee you can fire that person immediately this is you don't joke with strife. it'll kill your business it'll kill business ideas it, strife is big enough to crop, cri cripple a government i'm telling you the truth so wherever you see it that's what it says here it says cast out the scoffer so find out in that situation who's the scoffer now the scoffer just simply means the scorner the one who brings strife you know, you know, sometimes you are trying to argue something and say, but this person is eh, nonsense. Who, who does he think he is? Or now when someone begins to talk like that, he is disdaining another person in his heart. So if you want to deal with that striving situation, you are looking at the person you have to let go. So look at the whole situation. If you find strife in your organization, deal with it immediately. Because let me tell you this, this truth. The blessing of God is coming on your organization. It's coming on your life. And you don't need any strife to kill it or to make you blind towards it. Praise God. I've got to stop here. I will continue tomorrow. Bye-bye. God bless you.